So, according to CyberScoop, a computer firm unknowingly hired somebody from <clears throat> North Korea. And this person apparently was a rogue employee. Naturally, of course, anything coming out of North Korea is that. But it's not until I'm well into reading the article that it says from North Korea or over the border or near the border in China. North Korea or China, basically. So why is or China well into the article instead of being on the top? Perhaps it was North Korea or China. But it could have put that in the title. But I think what they're doing is just trying to amp up the fact that North Korea may have had something to do with this. May or did have some. Nobody's going to say that any country is perfect. And any country is without rogue actors. Including North Korea or the good old U.S. of A. That never does anything wrong. That's the thing. It's so easy to just go and point everything at North Korea when they do something wrong. It's ten times wrong. Then, oh, when it happens in the USA, South Korea, or Britain, it's kind of neutralized. It's me- You know what it is. You know how they minimize it. North Korea does the slightest thing. They amp it up a hundred times. A hundred times to the point that it dwarfs anything the USA is guilty of. Cybercrime. USA is guilty of lots of that. How many times are you finding out databases being hacked? A lot of stuff comes from the USA and maybe other countries as well. But we just amp the hell out of North Korea because, oh, how convenient that is. Oh, because you've already villainized them for any and everything they've ever done, including just trying to take care of their own people, including mitigating a famine. You turn it upside down and inside out and all around, make it be like they're doing something bad when they're not. That's not to say that this isn't bad, but it's not much different than somebody from the USA or England or anywhere else in the world doing the same damn thing. Just because it may have been done in North Korea doesn't mean it's far worse than if it was done out of the USA or South Korea or some other country. Maybe a first world country. Because we know how the US and the other first worlders love to shit all over the third world countries, even though they steal their resources for pennies on the dollars and hold them over the barrel with sanctions or threatening sanctions. That's no secret. And you know, when you're busy doing shady things and ill-getting things, don't think that you can go on holding other countries over the barrel and unless they take your garbage and your recyclables or they sell you their resources for pennies on the dollar, you're going to withhold aid from them, more like blackmailing them. And maybe what little aid you may be giving them, oh, you make them need it by sanctioning them and bargaining them, causing their government to become unstable. And then you give them aid and then threaten to withhold it if they don't sell you their resources on pennies on the dollar, take our garbage, our recyclable junk, or whatnot. I've read a lot about these different things. You can say it's propaganda, but then again, I could just turn around saying everything you're saying and all the so-called good things you're doing are just propaganda and forms of bribing and or blackmailing. It could go both ways. So whoever wants to go and make these crazy accusations and saying everything other countries do is just propaganda while everything they do is truth, they make it mix that up. But the point is, is that This article, as far as I'm concerned, is just more stuff so the U.S. and other countries can have more and more reasons to say and believe how North Korea is so evil. Meanwhile, turning blind eyes to the people in need in their own backyard. Blind eyes to how they need things and their government may take years to work on that stuff while in a heartbeat we'll give a baseball stadium to some team at taxpayer expense. We'll give tax cuts to rich people who don't need tax cuts, and yet they use our roads, they use things our taxes pay for. Meanwhile, they get it all for nothing, and then they have the audacity to say people in true need just want handouts. You're sitting over there carrying on about North Korea and how 
evil they are for any slight thing they do that's wrong or okay major thing let's just say major as well but yet when somebody in the united states somebody in south korea england or maybe another first world country japan even they virtually get a free hall pass and North Korea does something or somebody flees from North Korea because they committed a crime and so they run off to South Korea and then say North Korea is persecuting me and they get off with that. What if they committed crimes against a child? What if they committed sexual violence against a woman? What if they did those things? They get a free hall pass for that by running off to South Korea crying that North Korea is persecuting them or that North Korea is trying to harm them or just North Korea's evil because that's just the default setting to all countries, at least first world countries, is that they'll just go and say North Korea is just guilty until proven innocent and he can never be proven innocent. Any attempt for them to maintain their innocence is seen as propaganda. So as far as this article is concerned, I'm skeptical and maybe yeah, North Korea did commit this. But what's the difference between North Korea doing it and somebody in the United States doing it? Oh, right. They're North Korea. Well, I don't buy that bullshit.